How's it going everyone? It's Steve here from Daydream of Sports and I am back with part two of Football's Coming Home, my FIFA 18 World Cup journey where I try and win the World Cup with England. So, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Let me just check YouTube is working. Yeah, it is. So, last video, I won my two opening games. I am second on goal difference behind Belgium. So this game, I, I've qualified. The game coming up will determine who comes first or second. And that obviously then alters your route going into the round of 16. So I'm going to try and do two games. I am running a little bit behind schedule. Um, and I have got to go out in about 40, 45 minutes. So let's crack on with it. So it's a glorious, glorious day here in the UK, um, and I don't really expect many people to come along to the stream. It's 10 to 4 in the afternoon on a, on a glorious Thursday, but I've got a bit of spare time, and spare time, as I've mentioned before, is uh, not something that I'm, I'm blessed with, so... Uh, why not take the opportunity? I've got the house to myself, wife's at work, daughter's at preschool. So yeah, let's do this. Got two more games, as I say. Two more games guaranteed. This one and the round of 16. Um, hopefully, hopefully I'll go further than that. Or this will be a very, very short video series. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, got sound. All good. I'm looking forward to tonight's game. Sounds like there's going to be quite a few changes. I'm I'm looking forward to, and I'm also a little bit nervous that the rumour is that Vardy is going to start tonight. As a Leicester fan, I'm absolutely delighted. Um, and if you know anything about Jamie Vardy, and a lot of people do, you'll know his journey from non-league up to the Championship, into the Premier League, wins the Premier League gets into the England side and you know at the age of 30 he's playing at his first World Cup so I'm delighted that he's starting however I don't know if England played the right setup for him um, I obviously see a lot of him being a Leicester fan and a season ticket holder um, that I know sort of you know the reason he has been so successful at Leicester is because of the style of football that we played, especially under Ranieri, etc., where we utilise his pace and we do play the ball over the top for him. Some call it long ball football, whatever. You play to your strengths. And England obviously aren't going to do that. The, the one advantage I see tonight with the opposition is that Belgium aren't going to be like Panama or... Well, not that Panama defended much, but... They're not going to be like Panama or uh, Tunisia where they're going to sit back and try and contain and, and, you know, hope for a draw. They are going to come out, I would hope, an attack, which might open up spaces for Vardy to run into. He doesn't need much space, you know, he can utilise his pace. And I believe that's why his record against the top six sides in the Premier League is so good because... Teams do, believe it or not, still come to Leicester and sit back, hoping to get a draw, a draw away from home, you know what the Premier League is like. Um, but the bigger teams, obviously, they come out and attack, and I think that's why his record's so good, because the spaces are there, and he is a good finisher. So, great that he's playing tonight, you know, buzzing for him, and, uh, you know, every Leicester fan I know is, is the same. And I think a few England fans are pleased to see him. However, I'm nervous as I'm not really sure what sort of performance he's going to put in and, you know, the the stick that I usually get. Oh, Vardy was crap, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, a proper football fan would be able to tell that this system doesn't really suit him. But, hey, we'll see what happens. Oh, I hate it when it does that. I think they 
do, yeah, because uh, it means mistakes from defenders. And, uh, a bit of miscontrol, lots of footing, and uh, you're in. Okay. And Sterling's away here and uses pace. Wow, look at that. Oh, had to hit that first time, I felt. I didn't get a chance to. I didn't actually look at the Belgium lineup here and what they played. Obviously, Hazard's playing Carrasco, Bashwai by the looks of it. Oh, great tackle that was. Over the top, send him. So this is what I mean. England don't really play that, do they? Positive start, which probably means I'll go one nil down. Thought that was going to be my throwing, but never mind. Ah, oh, keeps doing that. Oh, that <laughs> that's some shot that is. A slide tackle there. I think it came in from Walker. I didn't actually do that. That was uh, the computer did that, which is uh, worrying. But uh, not very good with the old uh, chest control, are they? And it's a weird one because how often do you see a player chest the ball and it bounces off like a bloody ping pong? Not ping pong, but you know, like a bouncing ball or something. It's usually they're, they're pretty good at, you know, players of this ilk and this quality. Trippier's away. Ah, Sterling was offside then anyway. So the voice is a bit uh, groggy. I was out all day yesterday. Um, drinking, not big, not clever, but good fun. So, uh, yeah, and I went to cricket and was uh, the T20, England, Australia. Fun was had all around. I was very, very drunk. So the voice is suffering a little bit today. Won't get any better tonight, I wouldn't think, either. Oof. See, in reality, I don't think Sterling would take a first-time shot there. He'd faff and dilly and dally and then probably lose the ball. He's disappointed me in this uh, this World Cup so far. I well, know it's only two games, but, you know, he had such a great season for Man City. And, I don't know, maybe it just proves that a little bit like Daniel Sturridge when he had Suarez alongside him. Maybe it's the, the players that are around him rather than his... I'm not saying he's crap. You know, he's obviously a very talented player. Very young still as well. But, um... You know, he's, uh, but again, playing in a different uh, system to what he does for his club, so, sort of. Plays more wide, doesn't he, rather than down the middle. England with the uh, wing backs obviously don't have wingers in the side. Do we think it's a bit of a. Wingers being a being a proper winger, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a dying they're a bit of a dying breed, aren't they? And when I say wingers, I mean like like Beckham and Giggs and uh, Kinchelskis, um, 
Steve Guppy, if I'm going to relate to my own club and not just Man United players. Um, you know, those sorts of proper wingers that would hug the line. You know, they're more seen as, you know, you, you get kind of like Sterling is a winger, but he's more of an attacking midfielder, winger sort of player. I know what I mean. Hazard, I wouldn't really class him as a winger. Um, Messi and Ronaldo in their younger days wouldn't have classed them as wingers. You know, you don't they, they don't whip crosses in is kind of what, what I'm getting at. Kane, go! Man's on fire! Great goal. Captain Kane, brr. Good finish, good finish, good finish. Okay. That's brilliant. Right on half time as well. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right. Okay. Straight back into it. I'll get this in. I'll get finish this half and get and get the uh, the first knockout game in. So I can't remember the groups. Um, as in, I can't remember who was top and whatnot, but. If I win this group, I play the runners-up of group H, I think. God, I'm rubbish, aren't I? So-called football fan. So I'll play either Senegal, Colombia, Poland or Japan. Yeah, rumour is Maguire's not playing tonight either. I don't think that's a bad thing. I don't think it's a reflection on how he's played. I think he's been all right. I mean, the defenders didn't have a great deal to do um, against Panama anyway, did they? Um, it's a good opportunity to give some players that maybe thought they weren't going to get a, a sniff at this World Cup a, a chance to play because the game is well, the game's the game tonight doesn't mean a huge deal. Um, you know, natural. Sometimes you think, well. Ordinarily, you'd think, you know, you want to win the group. But the way this World Cup's panned out with Germany going out, uh, teams finishing second when you would have expected them to finish first, um, and vice versa, and finishing first when they would have finished second, actually, it looks more favourable for whoever finishes second in this group. But you don't want to go out there and... Um, throw a game because it just looks dodgy doesn't it and as it proved at the Euros having the so called easy draw doesn't mean anything you know it was inconceivable that England would lose to Iceland in 2016 and everyone was planning for the quarter finals against France and look what happened so do you know what if you're going to go and win the tournament go and beat the best so if that means having to beat Brazil in the quarterfinals then so be it no one can accuse you of having an easy route then I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit I mean quarterfinals is what I've expected from you know a very very long time ago to be honest but as I've probably mentioned in the previous video and I've been saying to people um, that I've been talking to you know what we're all singing football's coming home and it's not just you know when, when people say that it's not just we think we're going to win the world cup it's more that do you know what we're starting to be proud of our national team again at the minute um because after the euros the love for the uh the love for the national team disappeared um 
I've seen a lot of crap football supporting Leicester, so I can usually put it with England being crap, but that was almost the final straw for me. But this group of players seems confident, they seem relaxed, they seem a lot more, you know, together. The preparation has been better. Oh, foul there. Dangerous place, that. Um... The only problem is that if uh, if we got to the semi-finals or we went out to, uh, in the quarters and it was a kind of a you know you've still done you've still done as proud that sort of thing, the hype for the Euros in two years' time is going to be massive, and that's when we'll see the character of these players who will all be a couple of years older. Some of them will be approaching their prime. Glad the wall jumped then anyway. For God's sake. All right, let's do some subs. So yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be interesting in a couple of years' time. Okay, let's bring some pace on. I'm going to take Kane off, give him a rest. Got games coming up. Um, Ali's not really done a huge amount, so I'll bring him on. There we go. Defenders are looking a bit leggy, but let's go for it. The so Belgium are going to rest players tonight, so no Lukaku. Apparently no Hazard, no Mertens, but you've still got De Bruyne and, you know, you can guarantee someone like Bashwai will score, um, you know, having, you know, as he's a Premier League player and all that, or someone like a Vertonghen or Alderweireld, one of the Premier League base players is bound to score tonight for Belgium. So what happens, I'm afraid? Good tackle, that was unlucky, and that. Ah, uh, not the greatest through ball. <laughs> Massive air shot then. Oof! Boomer! I kind of wish I'd had attempted uh, a scissor kick then with that, with the height that that cross went in. Poor cross, really, but it was on Young's weaker foot, so it's to be expected, I guess. Oh, look at that. What a flipping ball that is. Jesus. That was incredible. Cross field chip through ball effectively. I used a triangle. No foul there, ref. Thanks. Oh, and Henderson's joining in. Oh, Vardy, what are you doing? Oh, you melt. Courtois just tipping it out. No one there. Look at the space over here. Shame he's got... Oh! Won it back. <sighs> he was scrambling. Don't think it was going in, but he was scrambling. Go throw him. Get in. Three wins out of three. And a clean sheet against Belgium. Absolutely 100% take that. Brilliant.
Excellent stuff. Right, so now we see who I get. So top of the group. Good stuff. Three goals conceded. Panama bottom. So Harry Kane's joined the top of the uh, top scorers list there. So let's have a quick look at the groups. All games should be done now. So Russia, Egypt, Spain, Portugal, France, Denmark, Argentina, Croatia, Brazil, Serbia, Germany, Sweden, England, Belgium, Poland, Colombia. So I will play Colombia in the next round. I'll take that. Here we go. And yep. So potential quarter final against Brazil or Sweden. Russia and France have already progressed, so have Spain and Argentina. So yeah, looking good. Awesome. Okay. Let's get this round of sixteen game in. Hopefully it doesn't go bloody extra time and penalties because I've got to go and pick my daughter up in about 20 25 minutes so let's have a look uh might need to ring some changes here i know young got man of the match in the last game but meh um i'm gonna start with vardy um bring loftus cheek in um Let's take him out. Just so I've got. And. So I've got KL as a centre back. So if need be, I can put Walker at right wing back. Um, if I want to bring Trippier off, because he is a bit tired. Boom, 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 boom. I'd imagine any views that this video gets, if it does get any, will be, you know, after the event sort of thing. So, uh, you know, still leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Okay. I really like that Columbia shit. So let's have a look. Welcome to you all to the Rostov Arena. Rostov. Come on then boys. them all day mate all day got lucky that Vardy's there oh what a save Oh, Spina! <laughs> Good save. Not the best of headers, probably. Right, front post to Kane. Didn't want it, did he? Got some decent players. Obviously, Columbia, Cuadrado, James Rodriguez. Let's crunch him, though. That'll slow him down. there. Ross playing advantage. I did get the ball. Got a lot of the man. Could be a card coming here. Need to go as soon as he did 
No. Good. I have injured Falcao, though. Talking to good players. That's rubbish. Body left foot. Oh, good save. Couldn't get his uh, feet right there. Lingard. Oh, that was close. Yeah, it was close. For God's sake, win the ball and lose it. Well played. This is what we want. Vardy running. Going a bit down a blind alley though. Come on, get on with it. Referee, come on. Concentration levels are high. Oh, I need to space to get the shot off. Not the best to cross, is that? Tried the first time cross. On top, though. Big heads, come on up, shoot. tackle that was oh a nice touch ah. okay bit of panic there at the back just lumping it out Come on, man. Not the best through ball. <sighs> Ooh, that was a bad one. I would not have been shocked if that was a red, to be honest, but I've got lucky there. Come on, Vards. Might have to drag Anderson at half-time. I'm not to... Well played. Now 
Oh, bloody hell. What a ball. Get hold of it, get hold of it. Penalty, ref. Come on, VAR. Hmm. VAR has been uh, interesting, hasn't it, in the tournament? In some cases, it's made it very interesting, made it entertaining, made it exciting. Other times, it's been an absolute farce. Portugal, Iran being a perfect example of that the other night. Okay, fairly on top on that game, but in that game, first half there. But um, right, I'm going to take Henderson off. I am not risking that at all. No, I, uh, I'm going to change that a bit later on. Player instructions. No, this is not something... So, attacking runs, it's already getting behind, but don't see a lot of it uh, happening, to be honest. So, that's what I wanted to look for. I wanted to see if that was the case. It seems to be dropping deep to get the ball, though, Vardy. That's what I don't understand. Crap. Good foul. See, that could have been Henderson. Oh, keepers, some safe hands. Oh, let's go a bit more attacking now. Come to the ball, rubbish. Oh, he's done two of them. <sighs> Dangerous attack. Why are... Why are my back three lined up like that? I've noticed this a couple of times on uh, FIFA recently that players are being put on opposite sides. So it should really be Walker over on that side, not Maguire. Ah. Well, I don't trip here. I was trying to swap. Oh, my word. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, keeper. Oh, man. Right. Got to go for it now, boys. Oh, flipping out. I was quite annoying, that was. I was trying to get the player switch to Eric Dyer so I could go across and tackle and it just wouldn't switch to him no excuses though that's uh, that's classic England really isn't it that's the England we know and love oh no come on
Did not see that player there. No foul. Brilliant. Come on then. Ah, it didn't work. Midfield's all over the place. Come on, keeper. You can get lost, mate. Oh, I've got to go for it. Come on. Get the ball up to the bloody strikers. Oh, that don't bloody help. Oh, man. Oh, no. I might have conceded a very unfortunate goal, but I've not exactly been brilliant, have I? Oh, uh, something's got to change or some going out. And that's the end of that. Oh, for God's sake. Right, free kick. Oh, crap it, free kicks. It's not really going to help me. Two minutes injury time. Come on. Oh, wow. England really don't have a uh, free kick taker, do they? Jesus. Oh, that was the chance. Doesn't look like football's coming home. And that's it. I'm out. That is so disappointing. So, so disappointing. Ah, oh. Gutted. Gutted. Yeah, unfortunate goal and all that, but I wasn't I wasn't very good. I wasn't very good in that game at all. <sighs> a Jordan Pickford own goal. Is that a sign of things to come? Do I do we think? Who knows? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Well, that was my very short-lived <laughs> FIFA 18 hits coming home series attempting to win the World Cup with England but as per usual I have failed at the knockout stages and we're going home football's not coming home but the England players are let's just see how the tournament does pan out so I would have faced Brazil in the next round which would have been difficult Germany um, Belgium progress. We've been knocked out of the tournament. So I take it if I end the tournament, does that? No. It doesn't do anything. So we'll never know who won the World Cup. Uh, it's a real shame. Uh, I want to continue to do this. So I might do some... Uh, 
I don't know. I'll think of something different because I know that you can uh, customize it so you can change the groups up. Um, you can add in teams like, I think you can add Italy, Holland and USA into it. So I might, you know, put those in and take out some of the uh, dead rubbers. Uh, I might do it where I press random and hope for the best and see what I do there. Because it'd be a shame to stop the World Cup. We've still got two weeks of the World Cup to go, thank God. Um, but for now, England are not going to win the FIFA 2018 World Cup. <laughs> Not on the PlayStation. Not on my uh, PlayStation, anyway. Thanks for swinging by, if you have. Um, you know, or if you're watching this retrospectively. Um, you know, go check out uh, all the other content on Daydreamer Gaming. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out uh, Daydreamer Sport as well. Um, and check out some of the other guys' channels, which I will link in the comments um, below. So, thank you very much. My name's Steve, and uh, football's not coming home. <laughs>